No, I'm not. I'm not certain that these extraterrestrials visited our planet years ago, but that's what uh, some speculate. These ancient astronauts and the, uh, these other alien and UFO uh, enthusiasts. They claim that uh, there's evidence in ancient records and in archaeology that uh, that they did visit us, early humanity. And in fact, uh, they uh, manipulated the gene pool to try to create hybrids out of the original peoples that were here on the earth, the indigenous peoples, but messing with and tampering with their, with their genetics. But uh, that's not, there's no concrete proof for it. There's, they try to tie these loose ends together to try to make them fit from what, from what I can observe so far. I'm still holding out for concrete proof, something that really confirms it. But until then, it's just going to be in the file folder waiting for more information. Because uh, they're just, uh, it's just all fragmentary uh, pieces of evidence that uh, don't fit really nice together. It's almost like they try to force the interpretation to uh, make it suitable to their presuppositions uh, but uh, when I see a real alien that's not and one that's not uh, you know just uh, some makeup on some dude or some computerized image that's all that's fake that looks real because of uh, modern technology but it has to be the real deal I'm hoping that uh, there won't be any fraudulent cases to try to sway man's uh, minds into believing that they're real when they're not. Uh, they have to really, really prove it. So, but I'm open to it. I'm open to the possibility of other life forms on other planets. And we already discovered other galaxies, other universes, you know, other suns, other planets. We're just looking for that planet that. Uh, is suitable for life other than Earth. And there's a few that are good candidates so far, but it's not, uh, it's, it's so far away. We have to, it would take years and years and hundreds and thousands of years to get our probes there, our satellites to, to, to investigate these, their, their atmospheres. And so far, we've analyzed our own uh, planet's atmospheres in our immediate solar system, like. Uh, Saturn and uh, Venus and Mars and a few others, but uh, not thoroughly. But uh, we know enough about it to where it's not inhabitable, at least for biological systems that uh, uh, that we know of. Uh, there could be biological systems that can uh, that have adapted or have grown up in that environment, survive, not made of the same chemical composition as uh, human flesh, but they're, they're life forms nonetheless.